resilience for a Native woman in 2020 living in an urban concrete jungle. What does that look like? I've kind of just realized that my medium, it, like my core medium is working with people regardless of what the, the art is that we create. I'm Miri Villiard. I'm a visual artist based in Duluth, Minnesota. I do a wide range of mediums. And this project is Madwayashka, which translates into the waves can be heard in Ojibwe. And it celebrates the resilience of indigenous women uh, on a very large scale. Uh, the animation was projected onto the 400 by 49 foot wall in the lock um, by St. Anthony Falls. Water is the lifeblood of Mother Earth. And as tribal native woman, this is our connection. Kind of what inspired um, my work on this piece was to, to make something for folks who have been feeling some kind of disconnection, either from the, like through the pandemic or um, I've met a lot of people who have, you know, mixed indigenous ancestry and, and all the issues that kind of come with that. It's an interesting time to have um, indigenous heritage because I think a lot of stuff is finally bubbling up to the surface. The Slice from WDSE WRPT.